So, um, Aeos Alkan's book, in that we have a mixture of a liquid with maybe some little solid particles, and then we have a gas above it, the vape that's kept on the presser. And when we come, kept on the presser, all the gas is actually a liquid. And then, once we spray it, some of that liquid turns into axle gas and pushes the more press out and pushes it down. And this comes out of the nozzle and expands out. Now, the reason why we do all this fancy things and we don't just use a bag that presses it or a spring is we hold a, a lot of energy in a compressed gas, especially when it turns it from gas to liquid. An example of this is water expands so much more when it starts boiling or filling up a space. The second thing is by pressing it through and it comes out here, it actually kind of acts like a rocket nozzle and really sprays it, repels in all directions. But you can do a similar thing just with compressed air. Maybe not as power dense, you could argue, but compressed air isn't as bad for the environment in many ways, and besides not being as bad for environment, it doesn't really CFCs, propane, so it doesn't have these volatile compounds that are bad for your lungs and everything for health and that can cause smell. But it's slightly less efficient because you don't have this phase change. Um, and besides, but you can't break it some of the bad because actually gas dissolves in water. You can see that with um you can see that with um carbonated drinks when you open up the lava seal too and the carbonated drink can dissolve in it and it can still propel with a considerable amount of force. Um so I have an alternative idea. Why don't we have a a a, well, also a big one is that you just can't compress as much gas, so you need a lot bigger bottle. But what if you had CO2, or you could have designed two ones. The simplest one with, I'm going back, is just air, but you have a little battery instead that just pumps the air. So you don't have to always keep the air in it, and you don't have to keep as much volume of air. It pumps it as you need it, solving things. And yes, the battery is additional weight, and it does use up some electricity, but so is pro processing this uh, liquefied gas that's made from fossil fuels and stuff. And you can't just use a wall one, you have to process it and deliver it and everything. And it's not rechargeable and reusable like a battery. Um, now batteries have their own disposal issue, so it goes back and forth, but at least it will pro definitely be a lot safer from a health point. And you can put more liquids in it. It'll also be a lot less flammable. The more advanced version I have, which would be um, replace the battery, not fully, but with something that CO2 or something could be charged into. Now CO2 can bind weakly to a bunch of things and be stored chemically under a lot of pressure. And it will be a gas or salt, it be a lot denser, then a tiny bit of electricity can release that CO2 and really pressurize it. And CO2 works better than regular air because it dissolves better than water and other liquids. It also acts as a solvent itself and help many materials. This is not fully done, and we have, but we're experimenting with similar technology to absorb CO2 directly out of the atmosphere. And we have a bunch of things with this other compressed CO2 canister. So it's also not that crazy. And by using this more energy efficient setup, we could get rid of some of the problems I said before about the space even more, and um, about um, battery disposal, safety, and stuff like that, because you don't need as much batteries, and CO2 is non-toxic. And so taking some of it up and storing it in a non-toxic chemical instead of battery toxin with, for disposal. So overall, this whole idea would even be more environmentally friendly. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers in a year and 4,000 watch hours, which is really hard. But with your help, I, th I believe I can do it. Also, if you have any ideas for future videos, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.